meant a lot to us to get an officially sanctioned Intercollegiate Tennis Association tournament here in Corpus. Uh, we've always had one in the HEB in the spring, but it meant a lot to us. It was, it was a very prestigious thing for us to get awarded one for the fall. And I mean, I can't begin to thank Marco and Kathy Madalini enough for sponsoring this event because with a sponsorship and, and with what they provide, meals for the players and so on and so forth, it really makes this event as, as well run and as top notch as, as any fall event out there uh, in college tennis in the fall. There, you won't find an event where the players get served better food and, uh, than coming from Marco and, and company catering and, and you won't find a facility in my opinion that is, that is any nicer than the court setup we have here. Um, we got to hope the weather holds up. You know, we, Marco did his part. Our president did his part. You know, we, we got to get our players to do their part and, and we got to get uh, the weather to do its part. Uh, but we, um, uh, we're very proud of hosting this event and, and having Corpus, Texas A&M Corpus Christi's name on, on uh, the ITA national website all year, uh, I think is, is a good thing for this athletic department. This is going to be a super competitive tournament. I mean, there's great rivalries here. Our team versus UTSA's team has been has been a great, very respectful, good rivalry, um, but a very strong rivalry for 10 years. Um, the University of Houston has a great new coach who, you know, just brought in a recruiting class that's top 10 in the nation. Um, so they're gonna they're they're gonna be a very tough team. Uh, I feel like all the teams here, Lamar, wow, our, our, our rivalry with Lamar over, you know, the last seven, eight years has been incredible. Again, you know, great respect we have for their coach and their program. And, you know, I think that's the one neat thing we have is we got some great rivalries, but they're very respectful rivalries. There's, there's good camaraderie in those rivalries. And, uh, uh, both teams are playing as hard as they can, but, um, uh, but it's always with respect, which which is first for us. And and the fact that those great rivals choose to come to our fall tournament just says a lot about the character and the and the, the good stuff in those rivalries. I, I tell the team all the time, I want them to max out the things they can control. I don't want them thinking about a result. I don't want them thinking about an outcome or the future or the past. I just want them to focus one point at a time on what they can control, which is playing each point with intensity, smart, having a great attitude, great spirit in the way you compete. And then let's see what happens. Um, Cause the, the result is a symptom of maxing out those things you can control. Having said that, uh, it was special last year to have an all Islanders final. And certainly we'd like that. Uh, that's not gonna be realistic, uh, a realistic expectation to do every year for 10 years. But we're sure going to try. We're sure going to try to max out the things we can control. And I know it, it was pretty special last year for our sponsor and for our community to have an All-Islanders men and women's final. So we're going to shoot for that.